Hi fam, if you've just stumbled upon my video, I am Debbie. Welcome for my returning, my loyal, for those of you that got my back. Thank you for always coming back and with that said, welcome home. So in today's um, quick meals with Debbie, it's not really much of a quick meal, but well, it is a meal that you can cook within 60 minutes. So it's um, sweet pup. Yeah, it's sweet pup. I don't know. I call it sweet pup. Other people might call it corn pup. I don't know what you call it. So we are going to have sweet pup with um, chicken and wash. So yeah guys do let me know if, if you if you prepared any other way or if there are ingredients that you maybe put in that spice it up nyana and i did not put it don't forget or don't be so stingy with your information kindly comment down below what ingredient you use that is different from mine or how you do it it could be that i might because i know the between the condensed milk and the sweet corn not everybody has it in that order but yeah if whichever order you follow but as long as it works for you, it's fine. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is for this specific meal or for this specific dish, everybody has a different way of cooking. So yeah, guys, I hope you learned a thing or two from this video today. Um, do comment, leave a comment and like and always share because somebody else might be wanting to bride this Friday and they don't know how to cook this. So well, now you have it. At this point, I hope we all know how to cook pap. Um, if you don't know how to cook pap, I will leave a link in the description as to how I have cooked pap previously. So yeah, that's just me basically starting off with my soft porridge before I can actually get to start the actual corn pap. Cook the pup like you would normally cook a normal pup, but then when it's almost when it's almost ready, that's when you start adding the ingredients as follows. Gradually add the condensed milk. Don't add all of it at once. Like add and then you stir and then you add and then you stir. Normally I would use the garlic butter um, thingy that has, you know, the black pepper in it. But then I didn't have it at the moment. So I used the butter and garlic. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find the clip where I'm adding the garlic in my pot. But yes, once all the ingredients have been um, in the pot, do blend them in nicely and by this time your heat should be low so that it gives the the pup or the ingredients to actually cook into the pup and then you should let it cook once you feel like um, the ingredients have cooked into the pup nicely then you can take it off and serve as you wish so at the end of the day, this is how our dish is, and this is how it looks in the plate. In the plate, this is how it looks. 